If you are working in architecture, product design, or anything CAD related, you probably know that rendering is what will make or break your final results. But high-end render engines can get really pricey. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the best render engines that you can use completely for free, or at least without breaking the bank. If you've ever wanted to design your own jewelry, but had no idea where to start, Pencil makes it super easy, even if you've never done anything like this before. If you go to PencilDesign.co, create a free account, and it will walk you through the basics. The great thing about Pencil is that it is all in your browser, so you don't have to install anything. Here, you can choose from a wide variety of templates, or you can design completely from scratch. It gives you the ability to place tones, move elements around, select materials, and adjust its shape and size. It is very user-friendly and really easy to use, and like complicated 3D software. It also features interactive design guides, which teach you to design jewelry in just a few minutes. Once your design is ready, you can generate high-quality photorealistic images, AI-based images for on-model or custom scenes, and then export an STL file for 3D printing, and connect with vetted manufacturers to make a real piece. If you're into making and designing your own custom jewelry, check out Pencil Design today. And there is a special discount code in the description below for users who sign up from this video. The links will be in the description down below. We're gonna start with Unreal Engine. Before, it was unheard of to use Unreal Engine since it isn't made for CAD users specifically, but it has gotten a lot of attention, especially in architecture and design visualization circles. The reason is simple, it is powerful, and the free license is really generous. As long as you are not making over a million dollars per year, you will get access to the full feature set. This includes Nanite for massive geometry, and Lumen for real-time global illumination. It also supports path tracing, if you need higher fidelity results. Combined with Quixel Megascans, which are also free to use within Unreal, you can build pretty detailed and realistic environments quickly with that. You can import from Revit, SketchUp, Rhino, or Blender using FBX. And there is a growing number of tutorials and templates tailored for ArcVis. The interface might be intimidating at first, but once you've got through some projects, you should be satisfied with the output for both still renders and interactive experiences. But if Unreal feels too much, Twinmotion is a good middle ground. It is also currently developed by Epic Games and shares the same engine underneath, but it is way more beginner friendly. The interface is clean, and it is built around drag and drop workflows. You can quickly add animated people, traffic, vegetation, and even control the time of the day and weather. This is great when you need fast results for a client presentation or review, for example. You can also use the plugin version within Revit, SketchUp, ArchiCAD, and Rhino. So if you can make changes in your CAD tool, it will sync over in real time. It also uses the same Epic Games model, I mean the licensing model. So the full featured version is free if you are individual or studio earning under $1 million per year. Now let's talk about D5 Render. If you're an architect, interior designer, or someone who uses CAD software in general, you should probably know about this. D5 works in real time, and it works using Unreal Engine under the hood, so you will get some serious lighting and shadow realism. The basic version is free. This alone makes it worth checking out. The free version already gives you ray tracing, in addition to 16K image export, and 4K animations, with no watermark or resolution limits. You even get access to over 2,000 assets, including furniture, vegetation, and animated characters. It is mostly limited by size of the built-in asset library, but you can pay to unlock more content, in addition to collaboration tools and faster cloud rendering. But for many of you solo users, students, or even freelancers, the basic version already delivers more than enough. It also got a plugin for Revit, SketchUp, and Rhino, so you're not stuck doing workarounds to get your models inside your software. I also want to mention LookScore Render, 
which is another solid option. It's been around since 2008, and it is completely free, under the GPL license. You even get access to the source code, if you're into that kind of thing. BookScore is an unbiased ray tracer, meaning it simulates light in a physically accurate way. It uses both OpenCL and CUDA, so it can run on pretty much any combination of CPUs and GPUs that you've got. This makes it flexible for different setups, whether you are on a single machine or more powerful workstation. It also comes with features you would expect from a modern render engine, like advanced caustics, indirect lighting, and a light group system that lets you isolate and tweak different parts of your lighting setup separately. It's not quite plug and play like D5 or Twinmotion, but if you want precise control and a physically based workflow, LuxCore is a good option to try. In my opinion, one of the best options that you should look into is Cycles and EV inside Blender. Blender itself is becoming more common as a staging tool in CAD workflows, especially for rendering and asset preparation. Cycles is ray traced and supports global illumination, soft shadows, subsurface scattering, and other physically accurate effects. It is slower than real-time engines, but it is great for fine renders when you aim for a realistic output. EV, on the other hand, works in real-time, and it is more responsive for look dev and previewing shots. However, not so long ago, the Blender Guru released a full course built entirely around EV, just to show you how far it can go. It is not quite like cycles, I mean in terms of the quality of rendering, but you can still get good results with the right setup. And once you understand the light props and different settings, you can do amazing things. You can export models from CAD tools, convert them into OBJ or FBX, and bring them to Blender to finish rendering your scenes. The Blender ecosystem also has a huge number of HDRIs and material libraries, and rendering add-ons that can help you speed up the process. So even if you're just using Blender to prepare scenes for rendering, it can be a strong part of your pipeline. Another free render engine is called AMD Radeon ProRender, which offers a free plugin for many 3D content creation tools like Blender, Maya, Max, Cinema 4D, Houdini, Rhino, SolidWorks, Unreal Engine, and others. Generally speaking, it is a physically based path tracing engine built on open standards, and it is GPU accelerated with support for AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. This render engine has good material library and PBR shader support with features like AI denoising and full spectrum rendering. It is ideal for design visualization, product rendering, and archivists, especially if you want a free alternative for render engines that come with Max, Cinema 4D, and other CAD software. Its limitations depend on the hardware and drivers because it is optimized for AMD GPUs. When it comes to community and documentation, AMD provides official documentation and community forms. The user community is spread across different 3D software depending on the software that you have. So help can usually be found in those specific contexts. Overall, the documentation quality is good, and generally speaking, you will find what you're looking for. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about RenderMan, which might seem like an odd pick, especially for CAD work, at least at first. But hear me out. This is Pixar's own render engine. The non-commercial version is free, with no resolution limits, no watermarks, and you will have full access to the production-grade tools. RenderMan is mostly known for film rendering, but it supports both photorealistic and stylized renders. You can switch between physically-based shading and MPR-style visuals if your project calls for it. It is also one of the few engines that supports both CPU and GPU rendering together through its XPU mode, which can help cut render times significantly. It integrates directly with Blender, Maya, Houdini, and so on using its official plugins. So if you are exporting CAD models into Blender for rendering, you can use RenderMan right from there. It may not be the first go-to for architectural fly-throughs, but for product visualization or visual storytelling, it can really bring a good level of depth that other render engines don't always offer. So guys, 
if you are interested in these render engines, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.